My name is Claire Patton and I'm starting the second year of my PhD here at the School of Law in Queen's. Um, well, I'm quite interested in corporate law and essentially the role of the corporation in society. Um, we know that corporations are very influential lobbyists of governments and so to sort of peek behind the motivations um, of those in corporations, of the, of the big multinational corporations and, and investigate as to what exactly their motives are whenever they get involved in CSR and cause marketing campaigns. So it's two parts really, it's looking at um, what motivates corporations and what their role in society is and then looking at the impact that um, whenever they carry out this role, the impact that that has on both society at large and also individuals within society. The talk that I'm giving this afternoon is looking at the corporation human rights and corporate social responsibility and the link between those three. So I've got a special focus on the Pink Ribbon campaign, which is the campaign that is associated with breast cancer. Essentially, a lot of corporations um, like to get involved with breast cancer. It's seen as a nice um, cause to be associated with um, because breast cancer patients are seen to be, typically seen to be innocent victims um, and undeserving of the disease. This can be contrasted with perhaps lung cancer where um, um, patients are often attributed with blame because they perhaps smoke. Um, the problem with uh, cause marketing campaigns or CSR campaigns like the Pink Ribbon campaign is that corporations tend to hijack the illness and this can have a devastating impact on those who are living with breast cancer. Because I'm in, um, only in my second year, starting second year, I'm still in the early stages. What I've got to so far is the theoretical. I've covered the theoretical part of my PhD. So I'm just getting into the, the research part now. Um, there, are, there are big issues and small issues that I've been quite surprised with. For example, for the talk today, um, I googled breast cancer and clicked on images, and then I googled um, prostate cancer and clicked on images, and then I googled lung cancer and clicked on images. And whenever you look at the screen for breast cancer, it is just a wash with pink and teddy bears and ribbons. Um, prostate cancer is very evidence-based, very scientific-based, lots of diagrams showing, explaining what, what prostate cancer is. And then lung cancer, which I've seen as the neutral um, cancer, prostate, prostate cancer being um, a male cancer and uh, breast cancer being a female cancer. And lung cancer was the same as the um, prostate cancer, which was, it was very evidence-based, very scientific-based, very fact-based. And I think that, that that's, that's what the problem is, that women who either have breast cancer or um, people who have family members who have breast cancer are inundated with this, um, this sea of pink and this fluffiness and pinkness and the corporatization of, of what is a very serious illness that kills women. Um, it maims women and it devastates women. And I think to trivialize it with this um, pink fluffiness is, um, it's an injustice to those who suffer with it.